Today we're going to look at getting started with Telerik RAD list box. RAD list box is part of Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. So some of the features included with Telerik RAD list box includes the ability to be able to be bound to various data source types. It also contains built-in text search functionality as well as allows you to select multiple items with a quick property change. It also supports theming. In this part of the series, we are going to create a new project using Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at just how easy it is to get started with the RAD list box. So here we are, we are back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and this time I've actually created a uh, Silverlight 5 project. So this new Silverlight 5 project, uh, right now it doesn't have anything added to it, but we are going to uh, change that. So let's go ahead and let's go to References, and we're going to right click and we're going to add References. And I know that this is actually contained in the Telerik.Windows.Control, so I'm only going to add that reference to the project. Once I do that, I go ahead and I can select OK. And another thing to note is that you also have the ability to add these references from the top menu bar under Telerik RAD Controls for Silverlight. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to come over to my project and I'm going to right click and select Add and then Class. Now uh, I'm just going to type in the name Employee. So once I've done that, I have my new employee class, and I'm only going to add uh, three pieces of data here. I'm going to add path data, which is basically going to be uh, some sort of image for each employee, and then I'm going to add a first name and then a last name. So now I'm going to create an employee service. So I'm going to go add class, and we'll just type in employee service and now once that's in place I'm just going to paste in a code snippet here and let me fix my using statement and so we can see that we have a public static observable collection of employee and we have a method here called get employees so inside of the get employees I have about uh, 15 records here so I have an employee with a path data, which these are a couple of different shapes that we have added here, a first and a last name, and as you see, it continues on through. So next, we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to our main page.xaml. So once we open our main page.xaml, uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is add in our Telerik XML namespace. And if I come here, I'm able to add in my XML namespace pretty easily. So XML namespace Telerik with the CLR namespace of Telerik.Windows.Controls and the assembly that it's pointing to is Telerik.Windows.Controls. Now we're ready to begin using this. So if I come back out here, I can type in Telerik rad list box and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a name of rad list box and I'm just going to close the tag where we can set a margin where this will actually display on the screen so I'm just going to kind of resize this and put it right here in the middle so now we have our margins properly set up so I'm going to now define a item template for this list box so I can type in Telerik rad list box dot item template and now we'll do define a data template and I will paste in a code snippet here where we can see that a little bit easier without you watching me type. So now we're back to our Telerik rad list box with a name. We have an item template and inside of that we have a grid and we have a path 
that is set up and the data is binding on path data. I'm just filling this with a red and giving it a width and a height and setting the margin. I've also set the horizontal alignment to center. Next we have a stack panel that's going to be in our first column and it's going to be binding on the first name and the last name. So the only other thing that we're going to need to do here is to switch back to our main page .xaml.cs and underneath the initialize component we will just add a loaded event and inside of our loaded event we'll do a rad listbox dot item source is equal to our employee service dot get employees so if we go ahead now and we run this application we'll see that our data loaded properly we have our path data for each item as well as all 15 of our items so as you see the rad list box can handle uh, various data sources objects in the next part of the series we'll discuss uh, searching text in the rad list box as well as allowing multiple selections and in the final part of the series we'll discuss theming the list box so once again thank you for watching the video today and tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements